Now this lesson is going to be really, really short. I wanted to make sure there was one more thing that you understood about kinetic energy and potential energy. Listen carefully so that you get this. We were just talking in the last session how they're both measured in the same units. Let's take a ball, for example. Say a baseball. If I take that baseball and I throw it up in the air, it's going to go up and then it's going to come back down. There's a couple of things that you need to know. And this is basically dealing with motion, how things move, so that if they ask you a question that has to do with motion, then you've got it. Okay, and I'll move that word over here because I hit it accidentally. Motion. All right. Just talking simple. As soon as, let's say I throw this ball up at 30 miles per hour. If I'm correct, as soon as I throw it up in the air, it's going to go up. And then it's somewhere real high, it's going to stop. And then it's going to come all the way back down. Well, here's what scientists have found. At the instant that I let it go, I have 100% kinetic energy. That ball is really, really moving. The ball is really moving quickly. Okay, so in this case, it's moving 30, meter, 30 miles per hour. As that ball goes up, when it gets to the very top, it's going to stop for a second. By definition, it has 100% potential energy at the top. And then it starts falling. When it falls, it's going to be at its fastest speed right before I catch it again. That means it's at 100% kinetic energy again. What do you think it is in the middle? In the middle, it's going to be 50% kinetic. It's slowing down. And it's going to be 50% potential energy. So let's think about this. As I throw the ball up in the air, 30 miles per hour, as it gets halfway, it's slowing down. What's slowing it down? Gravity. And so gravity's slowing it down, and then when it gets to the very top, it's going to stop. It's going to start falling again. Then it speeds up, speeds up, speeds up, speeds up, speeds up, until it gets to its fastest speed right as I catch it. How fast is it going when I catch it? Well, if this is 100% kinetic energy, and this is 100% kinetic energy, that means when it comes down, it should be right about 30 miles per hour when I catch it. Interesting how that works. Now, um, it's hard to prove. It's really hard to prove because air is always blowing around. So when you throw a ball in the air, the air moves it side to side or slows it down. But if there was no air blowing, when you threw it up in the air, it would come down at exactly the same speed. The same thing is also true for when you... If you shot a bullet in the air, if you shot a bullet in the air, a bullet comes out of a gun at like 200 miles an hour. Let's just use numbers. 200 miles per hour comes out very fast. If you shot it up in the air, it's going to go even higher than that baseball ever come, goes. And then eventually it'll stop and it'll come back down. What speed do you think it'll be when it gets back to the ground? 200 miles per hour. That's why it's so dangerous when people shoot guns in the air, even though they're not shooting at someone. It can kill somebody a long way off because it's going really, really fast when it comes back down. Kinetic energy and potential energy are very, very related to one another, especially as things are moving, flying. Like if you shoot or if you threw a, a ball and it is moving like this, the kinetic and potential energies are very related and it all has to do with motion. So if they ask you something about a ball or something moving, keep in mind kinetic energy and potential energy are very, very related to one another. That means their formulas are very related. So you sometimes they ask you to look at both formulas and solve. So be careful with those.